Welcome back, Cobley Academy, to your October Virtue video. It's Father Archer here. And this month, I would like to speak to you about the virtue of friendship. One of my good friends in college was a couple years older than me, and he was kind of a mentor. He kind of taught me how to grow in virtue. And he would always repeat this one little phrase. He would say, wasting time with friends is never wasting time. Wasting time with friends is never wasting time. And what he meant by this is that to really become friends with other people, it's important that we simply spend time with them and that we're not always thinking, what's the next thing I have to get to? Or what's the point of this friendship? What, what's this friendship doing for me? But very simply, we just spend time with someone. And so we enter more deeply into friendship. And we see in the Gospels that Jesus did this. Uh, the great story of Jesus meeting the publican, the tax collector Zacchaeus. So the story goes that Jesus was passing through the town of Jericho. And we hear just before that he was planning to pass through that town in order to get to Jerusalem. But as he was walking along, he felt that great inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And he looked up into a tree and he saw Zacchaeus, he saw Zacchaeus the tax collector had climbed the tree in order to see Jesus. And Jesus looked upon him, he loved him, and he said, Zacchaeus, come down from your tree, for I must stay in your house this day. Zacchaeus came down, and Zacchaeus made that great profession of faith. And he said, you know, all those people who I have, who I have defrauded, who I've cheated as a tax collector, I'll give my money back to all of them fourfold, and I will give to the poor half of what I own. Very simply, Jesus was willing to spend time with Zacchaeus, and we see this beautiful movement in Zacchaeus' heart, that Zacchaeus, because Jesus was willing to be his friend, was, was growing immensely in virtue. And so for us too, when we become friends with other people, sometimes it's people who are already very good, like my friend Lucas in college, who helped me to become a better friend. At other times, it's people who perhaps are not quite as far along, but when we enter into friendship with one another and with other people, we grow in virtue. Friendship is the school of virtue. We have a great gift at Colby Academy that there are so many wonderful people as part of our community, so many wonderful families, and we can enter into friendships with them. And I'd also like to give you a challenge to enter into friendship as well with some people who perhaps don't think exactly the same way that we do. Maybe it's people from within your parish or within your wider community, but we see Jesus very quickly entering into friendship with others, and through his friendship, he brings them to holiness. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the great inspiration and our, the patron of our community, St. Maximilian Kolbe. The great foundation of St. Maximilian's spiritual life was friendship with our Blessed Mother, and he, he would say that the, the more deeply you enter into friendship with Mary, the more deeply you will become friends with Jesus. One practice that St. Maximilian would of, often do is when he was going about his day, he would pause just for a second, and he would say he would take a glance at Mary. Recognizing that she's always present to us as our mother, he would simply close his eyes and look to Mary as he was going about his usual daily activities. And when he did this, it would help his heart connect once more with our Blessed Mother in friendship. And when we do this, we draw closer to Jesus and we become more loving people. And so my friends, my homework for you this month is to try that practice of Saint Maximilian Kolbe, of glances at Mary, to grow in friendship with her, and then by her guidance, by her loving, her loving and her maternal care, we will grow in friendship with Jesus and with other people. God bless you all. Stay close to Jesus today. Take care.